Hello students, welcome back in our YouTube channel Chemistry by Rajendra Sharma. In this video, we will study about impurity defect. And this topic we have taken from chapter number 1 in 12th class chemistry. The chapter, name of chapter is solid state. In this topic, we will study how impurity defect is created. Uh, let's see, when we take uh, molten form of sodium chloride and we add some impurity of strontium chloride or cadmium chloride into it. So let's see what happens. When we add strontium chloride into the molten form of sodium chloride, some of the sodium plus ions are displaced by SR2 plus ions. As we know that in strontium chloride, we have SR2 plus ion. As it has two plus charge, that means it will displace two positive charge from the crystal of sodium chloride. So one of the SR2 plus will displace two Na plus ions into it. Like this, it will displace two Na plus ion and it will create two vacancies. In one of the vacancies, SR2 plus will take place, take its place and another vacancy will be remain empty. So by this we can conclude that the number of SR2 plus ions present in crystal have the same number of vacancies. Suppose we have we have n number of n we have suppose we have number of SR2 plus ions and we have same number of number of vacancies vacancies and we can see that these vacancies are cationic vacancies as this vacancy is left by cation Na plus ion. So that's why we can say that these are cationic vacancies. So number of cationic vacancies are as same number of SR2 plus ion. And this is impurity defect. So it is I think very clear to you how impurity defect is created. So you can one thing which you have to remember in this that uh, how many number of vacancies are present due to impurity defect. So you have to just calculate the number of SR2 plus ion present in impurity and a number of SR2 plus ion will be same as number of vacancies. Okay. So that's, that is the uh, impurity defect. So that's all for today. Okay. Thank you. Up to you.